I've been focused on uh, understanding how microbes thrive in the ocean and how they essentially drive the biogeochemistry and how that's changing. I quickly realized that the way we were doing it wasn't going to get enough data. So I focused then on developing automated networks to see what we can't see from a ship. So I've built satellite algorithms, robots, radars, and developed integrated networks around the world. So now I can actually study how these microbes are changing as the planet is warming. Um, I've been working a long time with uh, getting ocean robots functional for scientists. Um, when we started this stuff, uh, we would go with huge teams of engineers and it would be a huge effort to get one day's worth of data. The technology is now matured where my graduate students go out and they collect data for up to months to a year at sea. Um, the data comes back in real time and what that allows is anybody who's interested in the ocean or robots now can be part of the experiment. And so sometimes we've been doing missions where we'll have essentially random general public people, hundreds, writing us throughout the mission and it's a great way to integrate school kids. The big thing is, is we can go into areas that are dangerous for humans to go. So we collect data within hurricanes, typhoons, uh, we do a lot of work in the Antarctic, we can be there when the ships aren't there, and so that allows us to fill in the data gaps and so we can look at things. Um, a good example is when I joined the uh, long-term ecological research project down in Antarctica, the team before had collected thousands of profiles um, with a lot of hard work, beautiful data. Uh, two years of ro robot data gave us uh, several million profiles. And so that allows you just to see things that are on small scales that might be really important. Um, so why do I think this work's important? Well, we live on an ocean planet and the ocean influences coastal communities, gives us natural resources, and we know we're undersampling. So it's time we just admit we're undersampling and figure out how to solve it. And that's where these integrated networks have demonstrated the potential for that for the globe. And uh, we can measure biology now with new sensors that people are developing and be at the ocean, in the ocean 365 days a year. Um, with our robots, we're just a lab and we've been at sea almost 13,000 days um, in the last decade. So you can be at sea 365 days a year and it's changing the definition of what an oceanographer does. Um, you know, why I think it's important for society, um, I have a little beach condo um, down in New Jersey. Sandy hit it almost directly. Um, and what we realized with the hurricanes is that you know we measure the damage in billions of dollars. If you go to Asia, you measure it in how many thousands of people die. And there had been no improvement in forecasting hurricane intensity at landfall. The robots have helped do that and now global networks are being spawned. Biogeochemistry in coastal New Jersey um, essentially affects the water quality. In Jersey, they always assume the water isn't clean because it's Jersey. But uh, what we showed were natural processes were driving those features and they were driving the fisheries and they were based in small features we would have never captured without these technologies. So that's going to allow for sustainable and smart management of our coastal waters. And finally, you know, we can now study blooms. So rather than show up after the bloom has happened, we can leave our systems out there all year round and look at the ecology of a bloom before it happens. And I think that's going to lead to great science questions and great things to study in the future.